a little bit faster. We go faster. Come on. kind of festivities in Thailand but fun has no borders so here we are and part of the festivities and entertainment of course there's a lot of German food here let's take a look at some of them this is the whole roasted chicken with gravy Roasted pig here after the old ones all gone. All right, this is a very famous German dish. It's called pork legs, Schweinhaxe, which is what I usually call Schweinbein. Exact translation. another German dish, very famous, it's called Wurst or Sausages. Many people said that they shouldn't call it Wurst because this is the best. Meatloaf and smoked pork loin. Another very famous and basic diet for the German people are the potatoes and also the asparagus which they call Spargel. And in every summer, they must have their white spargel. This is like a, a sacred thing to do every year, but we only have the green ones here. And one of the many dishes made from potatoes and spargel are soups. Germans love their breads, and there are thousands of breads in Germany. Here we have just a few kinds to show you. And... I know just a few. This, these are called Laugenbrötchen, small little rolls with salt. And the rest, you'll have to guess. I'm trying to look for Stollen, which is like a Christmas bread in Germany, but I don't see them here. So I guess it's not Christmas. You know, for vegetarians, what goes best with mashed potatoes? Sauerkraut. But this one is, the first one is a sweet kraut, which is red cabbage. Bratkartoffel, pan fried potatoes, pommes frites, and something, something. And this is the Spätzle with cheese, Käse Spätzle. Very fattening, very tasty, very lethal. And something for the sweet toothers. One of the Germans' favorite desserts or sweets, should we say, is apple strudel. Come and take a look. You know, I found a very authentic German-Austrian lady with a funny accent, Elfie Seitz from Party of Blood. Hello, Elfie. Hi. <laughs> Elfie, you are wearing a beautiful drindle. Look at her. All. Absolute, absolute genuine Austria. Yes. So is Oktoberfest only German? Is it Austrian? What is it? No, actually, Oktoberfest is Bavarian. It's from Munich. Original from Munich, from I don't know how many hundred years already. Uh, but of course, the Austrians and the Bavarians are very close. So we are celebrating the same and we have the same culture anyway. You know. So when you used to live in Austria, what did you, how did you celebrate? What we're celebrating in Austria, everything. <laughs> beer fest? We have uh, uh, Oktoberfest, we have beer fest, we have uh, spring festivals, we have Christmas of course, and uh, anytime, if there's something, we're celebrating. Okay. And what are you eating? We like the ties. <laughs> what are you eating? 
This is Apfelstrudel, one of my favorite ones. I can make it myself also, but the Hilton does a fantastic job, I tell you. Absolute good. Why do, why do the Germans and the Austrians love Apfelstrudel? Why? why do Indians like chapati? <laughs> <laughs> good answer. What's in the Apfelstrudel? Well, Apfelstrudel, this is a dough, right? And you make it very thin. You have to, with your hands, you have to make it very flat and big. And then you slice the apples and then you put raisins inside and sugar. And you have uh, breadcrumbs. You make it brown first and you put it in a little bit also. And, uh, and it's so good. Okay, see ya. <laughs> The Oktoberfest, the original one, I'm not going to talk too much about history, just a little bit. The original Oktoberfest, was, or the first one, was held in 1810, so more than 200 years ago. Since then, the Oktoberfest has moved across the world and has been celebrated now in many, many countries all over the world. Okay, this game is very really easy. Wait a minute. Wrong stage. Russia, Russia got talent is next door. <laughs> this is October Fest. Okay. One, two, three.